Dan Oosterhaus took your team down to Florida for about a week last week and uh, had two matches down there. Let's hold off on Navy for a minute. Talk to me about uh, the first match. Yeah, we played a really good team um, in North Florida um, on our third day down there. I'm, I'm really glad that we got out of here before the blizzard hit and that gave us an extra day to prepare, which is exactly what we need when we go to sea level. You know, we've not played outdoors um, or at sea level in about eight months. And so, you know, it was just um, a really good test for our guys of what the conditions were going to be like. It was windy. It was hot. It was one of the hottest days. It was in the high 80s down there. And, you know, we're, we're not used to that. And so that was a really great um, opportunity for our guys to really push themselves. North Florida beat us. You know, they, were, they just had too much firepower for us. Um, it was close in some of the matches. We got a good win at number three singles by Justin Waldman in three sets. And then Philip Deaton at number five continued, um, you know, to, to get on the scoreboard. So I just I felt like it was a really good uh, match for us, even though we lost. You know, sometimes you, you might describe it as a good win because it really set ourselves up for, hey, you know, we, you know, teams can beat us and we've got to, we've got to find ways, you know, to battle back when we're, when we're in those tight moments. And uh, I thought it prepared us well for the next day. Yeah, the next day was college match day against Navy. I mean, let's talk pomp and circumstance first, because uh, a lot of people there, both superintendents there, lots of people watching and wondering what's going to happen. Yeah, I was just, um, you know, all the planning we put into it was just so thrilled to see it, um, you know, come to fruition. We had, yeah, great support by our alumni, by our families, by the local community and the veterans in the area. And also our, both of our superintendents took time out of their schedules to come down and support the cadets and midshipmen, which was just amazing for our, our players to see. We had um, a, a flyover by our team captain, Matt Galvin from 2020. So everything just went off really well um, for all the planning that we did um, getting to this event. And then you're able to come away with a victory. Uh, the ladies down there, two, two close matches going on at the same time. Um, just tell me, uh, what was it like? And it had to be like um, nerve wracking almost. Yeah, there, it, there is nothing else like it in college tennis. And we, we built this event four years ago to be something completely unique and special where both men's and women's programs play side by side on the 12 courts, um, you know, full crowd and you know all, all, just everything that you would expect from the, the highest level of college tennis as far as the environment that you're creating for the players to play in and the and just that experience is something that um, we don't get to see that often and so you know during the doubles when i'm when i'm watching all the six doubles matches go on you know there's a couple moments there where i just looked up in the stands and and you know just enjoyed the what we created and then got down to business and, you know, got into my coaching brain. And, um, you know, really we, we fought hard in doubles, but Navy was tough. You know, they, we lost in a, a deciding tiebreaker to lose the doubles point. It was our number three team of um, Philip Deaton and Kyle Garner. They battled back, saved multiple match points, but Navy just played a little stronger and took that one lead going into singles. And then singles, you're able to get the four wins and, and eventually the 4-2 win. Right. And, you know, it was um, – we knew it was going to be a really physical match. Navy has got a very deep, strong roster. And, you know, even though we had not played them in, in many, many years, you know, I, we've done our scouting and we know their guys. We recruit a lot of their guys. And so we know how tough they are. And so, um, you know, I, I, even though we were down 1-0, I, I felt like our guys, if they brought what we've been doing all year, which is just never giving up and fighting and competing for each other, I knew it was going to be a great match. And, you know, I thought there was a way that we could get four singles matches, which is a tough test, tough, um, you know, ask for us. But we got four first sets and, um, you know, that we had to keep that lead. And uh, some of those leads went away. We reversed, you know, the Navy reversed some of the matches. It eventually got to two all. Um, Jack Brown was the first one on um, or off the court for us, getting a great win at six. Nick Roman beat a very good player at number one to get our second point. And so we found ourselves tied two to two, and we had three matches on, all in the third set. That's uh, amazing. And then, I mean, I just can't even imagine the atmosphere there. Right. And that was on the men's side. On the women's side, um, right at the same facility, we had the women tied at two all. The last three matches on were also in the third set. So you really couldn't have scripted it better. 
um, for setting up for just a great finish. Um, Philip Deaton, you know, came through again. We moved him up to four and played a fantastic freshman for Navy. Philip broke at 5-4 in the third set to win the match. He played fantastic in those finals, the final set to go up 3-2. Justin was, was deep in his third set fighting and urging Kirsten, um, having um, not converted on four match points in the second set, races to a 5-2 lead in the third, gets his fifth and final match point and closes out the win for us. You know, that's really tough to show the, that you can bounce back after being so close to winning a match. And it was an hour between his first match point and then the match point that he clinched the win on. One hour that he had to keep out there battling, you know, just shutting off his mind to like, what if, why couldn't I do this? And that just showed just such tremendous mental toughness by Urgent to finish the win for us. For sure. You talk about the length of time. A little bit longer. You're playing at sea level. The ball bounces differently down there. And to see you, that your team reacted, I know you had the match before, which probably helped you, but to see how your team reacted in that circumstance and still kept fighting. Yeah, you know, we've, we've played a lot at home this year. You know, eight of our first um, matches were, were at, you know, indoors at altitude. And so... I was just really, um, you know, we were pushing hard for our guys to be able to make that transition and getting down there and not relying on the things that we are very comfortable doing here at altitude. You know, big serves, big forehands, closing the net hard, finishing points early. That's what we're good at up here, but we have to play differently and, and, and tactically different down at sea level. And so, I mean, Navy was so tough. Um, there were points that we had to finish three, four times with really great shots that they just kept getting the ball back. And, you know, I'm specifically thinking back to Philip Deaton's match, and I, there were so many drop shot, lob, passing shot, re-drop shot combos that the points were, were just so um, physically challenging. And, and just to see our guys come through in that moment was, was incredible. Yeah, that's fantastic. So now your team, eight and one. Is there such a thing as momentum in team tennis? I know probably during a match, but during a season, can you keep this up and you don't have a match this weekend? Right. We do, um, you know, we, we have the weekend off. Um, we have uh, NCLS here, so our guys will get to participate in that. But we're going to work, you know, hard on the practice court because our next three matches are at home. Next week we play Idaho, then Chicago State and Idaho State before our next road weekend. And so we've got a great opportunity just to keep this momentum going. Um, right before I came in here, the national rankings just came out. And so we popped in to number 63. Um, that's, the, that's tied for the highest ever in program history. So it's just, it's a really good marker for us right now to kind of see, hey, you know, we wanted to be in the national rankings. We want to be a top 64 team in the country, you know, um, but we've got a challenge ahead of us because our schedule does not get any easier. We're getting into the back half of non-conference and then Mountain West. And so we've done, we've done some good things this season, but we're definitely not over. Fantastic. Coach O, congratulations again on the Navy victory, being 8-1, being ranked, and uh, we'll see you next week. Yeah, thank you very much, Brian.